So let me explain how we got to this point. I wanted to know if Billy's actually funnier than what he seems to be, and it turns out that he was. This would be doing the unthinkable, and I am going to challenge myself by reacting to Billy Sorrell's stand-up. <gasps> I have never done something this treacherous before, but now is the time. Every time I would do something about Billy Sorrell's or even Doughboy, they would always get a bad reception or a low reception from you guys. And I always wonder, is Billy Sorrell's funny to you? So I am going to test that out. If I laugh, the video is going to stop. But if I do not, it is going to be to the end. But for this video, I have something strong for me to watch this video so I wouldn't pass them. But, um, let's see if I survive. Pray for me, guys. This is going to be long, guys. Everybody looks good. I see hair is done. I walk into the lobby, I smell cocoa butter, shea butter, black soap. Some of y'all living around, you don't even know where to get black soap from. You got to see the dude that sells incense outside the flea market. He can swap me. Get the, get the black soap. Everybody look good, looking full from Thanksgiving. Some of y'all still got some Thanksgiving dressing in your stomach right now. Thanks, you know? Like I'm going to tell you this, man, I love being able to hang out with y'all during Thanksgiving. But if you want to win me over, if you want to win people over, one of the guys over during Thanksgiving, you're going to stop being lazy. Hey, a lazy-ass woman. Oh, don't be lazy during Thanksgiving. You know, you want the high praise. You I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-D. You independent. But you lazy. Simple task. Ask my girl to fix me a plate. Real simple task. We got Thanksgiving dinner, we got turkey, we got dressing, cranberry sauce, macaroni and cheese. Mama made them greens. Why? Why, why, why did this helpful? Refuse when she fixed my plate to drain that green juice on. I have to be completely honest here, when you see me do that, I was trying to fight back my laughter. And actually, I did laugh at certain points at the video. I actually had to move from my seat to actually laugh out the camera because Billy actually surprised me. This is supposed to be like a prank video, but it turned out actually good and I, I actually enjoyed it. So this is funny. I mean, my plate is like green juice gumbo. Touching everything. If I want everything on my plate, taste like green juice. I said that. Put green juice on everything, baby. Now, now, give me some more green juice on the, on the dressing, cause I, I can't taste no green juice in it. Lazy. I thought, you know what? Her mama didn't school up. Went to her mama's house. I said, hey, mom, can you uh, can you make me a plate? Cool. I looked on my plate, green juice. What now? So she drained that green juice out. <laughs> I said, oh, she got a deviled egg. I went to put the, her, her, the deviled egg in my mouth. It was hot. I had a hot-ass deviled egg. This devil refused to take the deviled egg out before she warmed my goddamn plate up. That is what we didn't get. Deviled egg is supposed to be room temperature. Cold. I got a hot-ass deviled egg. Because I, 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 I didn't put the whole thing in. That's what black folks do. That's what we do. We put the whole deviled egg in the mouth. I'll be back. Ain't gonna use no fork. You sure have yeah. This is honestly where I tried to act tough. I actually was so surprised that I actually laughed, to be honest. I laughed at this. I gotta sit down and eat your plate. I got hot ass double egg in my mouth. Gonna burn the whole skin off the top of my goddamn mouth. I ain't got no more top mouth skin fucking around with this hot double egg. Lazy 
ass whooping. When we make love to you. Yeah. I'll make love to you. Don't be lazy. When I ask you to go give me that rag. Pepper brought me back an ice cold wash rag. I went and looked at the sink. I said, God, you bitch, you ain't got the hot water here. You need to get a water heater from Home Depot. What's going on? It's ice cold. My nuts been screwing up here. My goddamn bitch. Lazy. You know when it hit your hand, it's ice cold. I'm sure I didn't miss anything. Of course you didn't miss anything because you went off the camera to laugh. You know he was funny. But we'll see if it makes me I'm laugh. I'm trying real hard, man, to change my ways. You know, I've been trying because, you know, growing up, going through high school, college, I was I trying to be a ladies' man all my life. You know, and I found myself finally getting to know the ladies. You know, I was trying to find a woman. Yeah, I found myself having two girlfriends at one time. It wasn't my choice. No, no, it wasn't my choice. I'm telling you right now, I didn't feel like a player, like a man, like a baller. I felt vulnerable. I felt used. Because I was in a relationship that wasn't working. I told her straight up. I said, hey, baby, this ain't, this ain't working. I need my space. She was too nice. Some of y'all women, y'all too nice. No, you know what? You need time, you need space. I'm cool. I'm going to just be here to whatever. You ready. I'm just right here. I'm in your background. You in the foreground. No, bitch, I'm trying to break up with you. This shit is over. I'm one step from fucking other chicks. I'm telling you now. Because if I go to the bachelor party for keeping them this weekend, I'm going to go there and hit the something. <laughs> okay. You understand? I'm going to stand just whatever you want to do, son. Okay. Right. That's funny. She was like, so are you single? You in a relationship? What's your story? I'm like, well, technically I'm single, but I got somebody that's still down for me. So you still got a girl. She was like, yeah. She was like, I'm, I'm cool with that. I said, so wait a minute, you cool with me having a girl and you trying to date me? Okay, so we start talking a little bit. Some of y'all too down. You know, don't be down for everybody. Everybody don't deserve your downness. I'm a ride or die, bitch. I'm down for my nigga. I'm down for my man. I'm a ride or die. No, no, everybody don't deserve that. That ain't ride or die, that's stupid. Some of you just fucking stupid. Stop being stupid for these dudes, man. We don't deserve it. I didn't deserve it. I didn't know what to do with that. So now I done messed around and got myself. Well, I got two girlfriends. Girlfriend number one. Didn't know about girlfriend number two, but girlfriend number two knew about girlfriend number one. Problem starts. You won't understand the pain of going home to eat food when you already got a full fucking <laughs> Girlfriend number two done cooked on the wrong night with girlfriend number one at Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, he in at the house, and I got a full stomach full of rotel because you done cooked some bullshit. And then want to act like you don't eat my food. Bitch, I told you number one was cooking tonight. You supposed to be cool. I was going to bring your play back over here to your MVP get reloaded on the tip. <laughs> okay. Now, you don't know that face, man, that pain that I was going through. You don't understand the pain. The pain of hearing about two women's days that you do not give a fuck about. <laughs> Man, what happened to me today? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it sounds like the shit I heard already. You don't understand the pain of having your phone gone through twice by two different people. <laughs> you know what, girlfriend number one? I understood that. I was cool. I understood her going through the phone. That was unacceptable. I don't need trip. Girlfriend number two, I can't stand coming out, she's scrolling. You know how they are when they're scrolling. They... <laughs> oh, 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 that's what, okay, that's what you're doing? That's... I said, hey, what's, what you doing? You... Uh, I'm looking for other hoes. I said, well, bitch, you found yourself, ding, you the other hoes. You found you. Ding, congratulations, great job. You need to be on CSI. We're looking for the killer. You the killer, OJ. You the killer. I'm just saying I don't understand the type of woman that would destroy a perfectly good relationship. You destroy the relationship. You, you got to know this ain't real. This is pretend. It's a game. It's itty bitty fun. It's not real. Some 
y'all be valuing this girlfriend boyfriend shit too hard? This shit ain't real. It's a game. It's a busy spider. You can put girlfriend boyfriend with Santa Claus, Easter Bunny. Uh, goddamn aliens still. That shit ain't real. With two fairy, yeah. This shit is not real. Y'all let some nigga back in the day gas you up to believe that this was an accomplishment. To get you to do the shit you're supposed to do for your husband for a nigga that's just trying out that pussy. Dolly, right, you don't believe me. Tell me where there any scripture, the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, where it says, Thou shalt honor thy girlfriend and thy boyfriend. You think this is a marriage? This shit ain't real. This is pretend. This is practice. It's like them niggas hooping in the park trying to fight. Nigga, see it? ESPN ain't taking the score on this shit. I don't give a fuck how many points you get, nigga. Marv Albert is not coming out here. This shit is a pretend. This is a game. I don't get it. I, you know, I, I found myself in that predicament. You know, you know, you can't, you can't give them too much. I'm telling you, fellas, man, you gotta be careful because. Women, women are smart, man. They have some shit that we don't have. They have a direct connect with the Lord. God is on their side. They curse, but, but be on their side. You know, first of all, y'all emotions are all over the place, you know. Y'all say crazy shit on, on social media. Y'all do crazy stuff, but I, I still love y'all. Because y'all got that relationship. Without y'all, we would be no us. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't imagine the world was just looking at the niggas right here. <laughs> Shit wouldn't get done. No. Just what happened? Because y'all got that relationship with God. God is there with y'all. He, he lets you know what's going on. Y'all get them feelings. Like this, something just... <laughs> you ever seen your girl have the feeling when she knows some shit going on? She... I don't know woman walk backwards naturally like this. There's some condoms over here. They smell cheap. Smell like lifestyle condoms. The kind you, get, you get from the clinic when you got an STD and they put it in a brown bag. If you don't admit that you lie, you a liar. <laughs> if you got a girlfriend, you lie. You lied to get her. Yeah, we all lie. Yeah, we lie. You talking about I keep it real with mine. No, you don't, man. <laughs> and if you do, tell me what you talked about when you first met her. You was making shit up as you go along. <laughs> Dudes will say whatever we got to say to get you in it. That's what we do. We capitalize. The killers. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Pops talking about women. Nigga, we, I, I was lying. I was lying with she. I was still for that ass. <laughs> First two weeks of any relationship with a dude is all a lie. You, you asking him about his family. Tell him about your family. He just making a hollering out shit. Tell him about your family. What happened? Well, you know, uh, you know, uh, my grandma, she cooked uh, dinner every Sunday. And uh, everybody come up for the pastor. And then uh, my uncle, he upstairs in the room. He don't never come out. And then... Got diabetes and cut her leg off right here. Then, then she died. Then she died. Then it's no food. We seen this. I seen this movie. This is not your life. You a liar, bro. You a liar, and it's the truth right in you. We lie. Oh, we definitely lie. We got y'all on the edge. Like that first day, y'all about to almost give us that. We lie to get you there. You ever seen a dude be horny and spiritual at the same time? It's, it always happens when you Netflix and chill. The girl trying to put it out there. Who be Netflix and chill tonight? You know, I come from a generation of blockbuster and chill. VHS and chill. First of all, y'all don't know about having four movies on one VHS tape. And you got to watch all the way through and get to the movie you want to watch. Some of y'all don't know about that shit. 
my family, we had a Richard Pryor special com coming to America. Goddamn me, Roots. And three episodes of A Different World. All on one day. Put that in and just, just let, let the day go by. Goddamn cable. We're going to see what's on the end of this fucking tape. You still love it. I'm still love it. We get the end of this VHS, bitch. We need to do something else. You know, y'all try to tell us, y'all try to drop them hints that you don't want to have sex. Like, you know, I just want us to take it slow. I want us to get to know each other. You know, I'm trying to get my relationship right with God. We're like, no, no, no. We want it, but we spiritually. Yeah, no, you know, because, uh. Because when a man finds it for, uh. She, he find it for a good day, yeah. Cause you know, I seen you, you know what I'm saying, when I was scrolling my timeline. The spirit was like, hold up, nigga, hold up. I was like, you know, your ass got me, but that's really how Boaz seen Ruth in the field. She was bent on me, you know. Her ass was out. And that's how I see you, that's how I see you. And I be like, you know, he, he kind of, he kind of spiritual, he kind of deep. <laughs> Brother, don't you hate it when you finally go to Netflix and chill with a chick? You know she a hoe, but you don't want to say that she just smashed two or three of your partners of people you know from around. But you don't want to say that because you don't mess your chances up. <laughs> you get over there. <laughs> so we gonna watch this movie, we gonna chill because you know you talking about that stuff on that text message, you know, emojis. <laughs> you know, well, you know. I had a talk with God the other day. I want to get my leg together. Oh my God! But you're a hoe. You're a hoe. I know it. I know you're a hoe. I know this. I see the pictures. I know what you do. I was on your timeline. I seen you pop the bottles of Puffy and Rick Ross and Fish Rock Taylor and all these other things. I know what you do. You shouldn't talk to God. You don't let her be saved today, God? Today? 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 Now you negotiate, you're a hostage negotiator. She done some kind of way you done maneuver to get the pants halfway to her kneecap. But ladies, y'all still trying to hold on to y'all spirituality. You ready to let it go. You just want to see that it's a good sign to move forward with. So you're hoping he say the right thing, but it's too bad because the ain't shit that took over him. He talking with his dick is what I'm saying. Kneeca the panties at the kneecap, she's sitting there. I mean, I don't know if we should be doing this. No, 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 we should be doing this. Uh, cause, uh, you know, uh, cause, uh, cause it comes love, marriage. I mean, if we get married, I'm gonna be the last nigga you with anyway, so what's the difference between us having sex now? That is what I'm saying. I mean, I feel you. I feel you. Cause I'm gonna get that ass, I'm gonna turn that pussy up. No, no. No, I don't want that. No, no. No, wait. Uh-uh. No. I thought we was, I thought we was watching the movie. I thought, I thought we were watching the movie. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, you just gonna take it. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. See, cause you fight for dear life. See, fellas, you ain't know your girl knew UFC till she put that leg lock on you. She like this. She tried to stop you cause she know it's been too long. She been, cause if you get that meat up in it, ain't gonna be able to stop. Man, no Jesus in the world. It's gonna happen. Now you like this, oh, so much of that. So she, wait a minute. We need to chill. We don't know each other. No, 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 you do know me. You do know me. Uh, you know my mama, uh, my uncle up in the room. This <laughs> is just, just lying, man. We just lying. We get caught. Say, here's a wish you kick in at the right time. You done lied, told your girl you should be working late. Y'all Now y'all in a relationship. You done got them draws. You the lie told her you should be lurk, working late one night. She at home believing your lie. Watching TV, watching Empire. This is crazy. Lucius has got to get out of jail. Jamal is so fun, but he's gay. Why is he gay, God? I don't understand. Ooh. 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 He's like, bye -bye. Ooh, Father, what is it, Jesus? Right now. Ooh. Ooh, I, ooh, I see wings, I see waffles, Lord. Leave me there, Jesus. Ooh, Rascals, Father. Off P. 
Miko guy. Let me that Jesus. So now we have one nice friend. Get my keys, get my purse. That's why she better confront you. You know, it's about to happen. Ladies, whenever you go through a travesty in your life, you got that one best friend that you call on. That best friend is there to ride or die for you and help you through it. You pick that phone up, girl, I need you. I don't know where Billy at. I don't know what he's doing. I think he always so girl. Bitch, don't worry about it. I'm already outside in the car. <laughs> Learn. He can't cheat on us like that. <laughs> uh, I ain't know I was talking to both of y'all. Now the whole situation done moved to the car. They in the car. They praying about my black ass. Neither one of them been to church recently. Both of them praying. The best friend is always Tasha. Tasha is a universal crazy bitch. Right now, it's three girls you know that's Tasha. Big Tasha, little Tasha. Small Tasha, all of crazy. Your girl, she she crying, she praying, she's trying to find out what's going on with you. Can I just help me? Cause I don't know what's going on. I just need you to help lift me up. I need you to wrap your spirit around me. That's when best friend jumps in, Tasha. First of all, dear Lord Jesus, Father God, strike this bitch ass nigga down for the stuff he did to my girl. Cause my girl is a one good bitch. Like I did not approve this message. That conversation I moved to Facebook and Instagram. The status started off like this. You know, because y'all love to get, y'all love to get crazy. Get your spiritual. First of all, the woman that's out here running around with my man, hashtag you a hoe, hashtag you ain't got no home training, hashtag you got a virtuous woman, I ought to beat your ass when I see you, hashtag Creed, hashtag Michael B. Jordan, hashtag Because I got brothers, hashtag world star. I ain't tripping though. I'm gonna put it together because I can believe it. I can do all things through Christ. <laughs> Jesus, like, I did not approve this message. Now the conversation's gonna happen. You and now you lying to the other woman. That's what we do. We lying. Lying about who you are. You know what I'm saying? You know, because, uh, She got a glue gun 
Well, so she can put the phone back together. We see what you said, nigga. We saw what you did. Cause I mean, the reality, you know, guys, we love, we love y'all. We just don't know how to show it. Y'all are our world. We just have a fucked up perspective when we see how stuff plays out. Like we couldn't take y'all doing the shit that we do to y'all to us. We break. We don't got that strength. We don't got that fortitude. We just don't. We just not. We not engineered like that. We think something's going on with baby. It don't matter what's going on with our life. We can be hypothetically in the club. You know what hypothetically is, right? I know we, you know, we, where we are right now, you got to ask, you know, hypothetically, ask one girl one last show, I said, you know, hypothetically, and she said, yeah, I know what that is, that's the thing at the beginning of the science fair before you get to the conclusion. <laughs> Bitch, that's hypotheses. Get your leg and ass out here. So, hypothetically, I could be out with another woman, doing my thing, damn, 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 get that phone call, that my girl is at the crib with another dude. Now she finna go out? Oh no, my whole world over here. You get that call? Hello? Say what? You saw my baby where? Hold on, shut up, bitch! You saw her where? Hey, Roscoe! Well, I'm on the way! See, let me tell you something, the thing we don't have. Because we don't have a good support base when it comes to our homeboys. When we going through something, we going through it alone. You can't tell your boys that your girl fucking over you and messing over you. I told you not to be fucking with that bitch. You keep right over Man, we well, ain't no hate like that. You need to get it together. You know, we don't, you know, girls, y'all, y'all know when your, your girl is going through something, you support them. In the club, you don't let them go out and talk to dudes that ain't they take out. You cock block, you come through with the big shoulder, you stop. <laughs> you ever been feeding a girl drinks and you thought you were gonna take her to the crib? You just don't realize you're not really her type, but her girl, God, uh, we good, we good. We good, thank you, thank you. No, 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 thank you, thank you, yes, we're fine. Uh, ladies night, it's ladies night. We didn't wanna dance with y'all. See, I'm dancing, I'm actually dancing, I'm in, we together, we're good, thank you, bye. These brothers is thirsty. Dudes don't care about that. We can see our dude. You could be in the club talking to Kayla Jenner. Nick, we will let you do it. You could be in the club talking to a mannequin with face your hair. We will let you do it. You could be talking to little one of little creatures on Lord of the Rings and just. Look at this one. This one over here wildin'. You over there, you tongue kissing an ugly chick in the club. The boys don't break it up, they come over with their phones, alright? I cannot believe I sit through this whole 55 minutes or whatever minute it is and realize that my audio, my device had died on me. But um, I must say that Billy is actually funny, in my opinion. In terms of the roast me setting, I don't think that is Billy's strong suit, but... The wings stand up is better than that. Um, that's why I, I always say that everyone, all the roasters that you see on Roast Me, they are funny in their own way. But everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. I realized that Billy is actually good at doing this. So I wonder if Doughboy, if Doughboy will be the same way. I will actually check up on that one. But um, yeah, this was a decent video. I know this video is going to get viral. So